I think being a part of the honors program at UNK really opens a lot of new doors. You're encouraged to do things like do research and study abroad and go out and volunteer. Different aspects like that really get you integrated in the Kearney community and make you more invested in your education. It's really not just the school side of things, it's everything about college built in with a great group of people that will bring the best out of you. My primary concern coming into it was being part of a college level honors program that seems like a lot of pressure. I got to live in Men's Hall for a couple of years and it was just great to be a part, I mean literally be a part of that community since I was living with all these other honors students. UNK honor students really offer moral support for each other and chances are if one of the honor students does not understand something you can get together in a group and figure it out together. We do have access to a lot of resources. It's easier for you to hear news about events that are going on, maybe new organizations that are up and coming. I thought it was amazing because I would literally walk to class with 10 or 12 people that I already knew. And that was the first day of school. I didn't even know people that well by then. A lot of people do think that, you know, again, just because they are in honors class, they're going to be tougher and you're going to have tougher tests and more homework, but no, that's not the case at all. First of all, honors classes are a little bit different. You're reading through the books and then you're discussing it with the class, so pretty much everybody's going to have a little bit of a different view that comes in there. You're sitting either in a circle, professor just asks questions, and the discussion kind of flows from there. And if you say something, it's not right, it might stimulate someone else to think of a really good idea. And that's how these discussion-based classes are. It really teaches you how to think on your own too it's, and not just say, you know, what that bullet point on that PowerPoint says. Those are skills, you know, that I'm not going to stop using once I graduate UNK, you know. I'm going to use them forever. Being a part of the honors program motivated me to do research. I think that research is one of the best ways outside of the classroom uh, to really get ahead of what um, the book is going to teach you. Researching really helped me grow as a person because it, it made me learn um, how to be more independent. You know, by the end of my research, I wasn't asking my professor to help me with everything. It's great because you do, first of all, you research what you want, and second of all, you know, there's a lot of opportunities that you get to partake in as well. I've been able to go to National um, Conference of Undergraduate Research in Washington. I've gone to D.C., Portland, Lincoln, you know, so I think that's where really my confidence in public speaking came from. The professional development, especially from research and then volunteering. Why would you limit yourself when you're an undergrad? I mean, do everything you can to just give yourself the best college experience possible. So studying abroad will help you become more independent. It will make you seem as though you're adaptable because you are, because not everyone can go to a different country where you may not speak the language or a different country where um, you might have to learn how to read a map for the first time in your life and things like that. Not everyone could handle that, but honor students can and they should. Being a part of a community that really focuses you and pushes you to do your best has been a great experience for me. Absolutely apply. You'll see within even a few days of being on campus the benefits of being in the honors program.